water that flows into the South Platte River in Colorado comes from the top of Mount Evans in the Rocky Mountains. It's a really interesting place and recreation is an important part of what people move to Denver for, what people grow up doing in the Rocky Mountains. The watershed is a very dramatic place. Some residents say while whiskey is for drinking, the water is for fighting over. Just the conflict-filled world that Colorado is around water because it's a desert and there's downstream users who are involved in these interstate compacts. There's a good chance that there's not enough water to go around. That becomes complicated, whether it's recreation versus municipal versus environmental versus agricultural use and who's using the water for what and who owns that water. The South Platte River is on the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency's list of impaired water bodies, mainly for E. coli contamination. Colorado has the Arkansas headwaters, the Rio Grande headwaters, the South Platte headwaters, the um, Colorado. You don't see them become polluted or meet the EPA list of impaired water bodies until they flow right into the areas that have all that concrete and where all those people are living. Moving to Denver, I didn't realize with the stormwater systems that anything that you throw on the street, whether it's a cigarette butt or a plastic cup, it ends up directly into our water. Feeling that the health and wellness of our kids and the vitality of our city is dependent on having clean water and not just for public health, but for a vital, alive city. People should be able to recreate in the water that flows through it. That's a long-term goal. Groundwork Denver engages the community to produce environmental results in an effort to change places and lives. It's so nice to go to the communities that we work and you feel like you've um, given them information or helped offer a service that through a wide group of partners from the federal level and the community level. You want to listen and hear the voices of what the community members want and often those are connectivity issues. They want more parks, open space. We're now trying to connect the relationships that we've built and, and establish the trust that we've established in those communities and, and to the river, bring their attention to the river, whether it's through a trail, through arts and culture, through a recreation event that we throw, a bike ride that we do, and bring life to the communities as we bring attention to the river.